clothes really weren't a fashion all the time. In fact, there was a time when having no clothes at all was the in thing. So we don't really know when that was and when that went out of fashion. We also don't know exactly when human beings started wearing clothes. But once they invented clothing, there's been no looking back. People say clothing goes back almost 500,000 years. Early humans originated from Africa where the weather was mostly pleasant and you could actually survive with no clothes on. We humans have always been an adventurous bunch and then what we did is we started venturing out of Africa into Europe, Siberia, up north where it really got cold especially in winters. So what scientists suggest is that humans invented clothing to save themselves from the bitter cold. Which actually makes some sense. Early man used his intelligence to build tools and weapons uh, out of materials like stones and wood. They used these weapons to hunt down hairy animals like wolves and mammoths that had a lot of fur. They used the skin of these animals to make primitive clothes and wrapped themselves in it and kept themselves warm. This was a discovery that led to the birth of clothing. Instead of just wrapping the skin around them, they started to make holes in it to put their heads and arms through. Soon, their methods got more and more complicated. They figured out how to make pointy, sharp tools to punch holes in the animal's skin, which they would tie together with thin strips of animal skin. Now, they could make something much better than just simple loose hanging clothes. Their arms, their legs, their head, their feet also could be covered and they could look more fashionable as well. So, one of the oldest clothing material that we do have evidence of is in this special place called Katal Huyuk. Katal Huyuk is believed to be the oldest human settlement that we know of. After studying the site, scientists have confirmed that they grew these plants called flax to produce a sort of fibrous material that they made cloth out of. This cloth material, you may actually know the name, is called linen. This is the oldest evidence we have of human beings making clothes from threads. Let's go to the next place, Egypt. The ancient Egyptians were masters at making textiles and fabrics. They made fabrics out of different varieties of plants like reed and palm and even papyrus along with linen. The linen material was ideal for the hot, hot climate in Egypt. It helped the Egyptians keep cool in the summer especially. Okay, we spoke about a few countries, but now let's see what's happening on the other side of the world. Let's take a trip to China. In China, a long time ago, a Chinese empress was sipping some hot tea under a mulberry tree. And then, plop, something fell into her tea. What was that? It looked like a weird, wiggly, white blob. She kept watching, just kept watching what happened. Inside the teacup, the blob started unraveling into a long, thin thread. So, the empress ordered her royal physicians to find out what this was. And after much research, they found out that it was a surprisingly strong thread that we can make really smooth, shiny, fashionable clothes out of. And so, silk clothes were invented. The ancient Chinese went a step ahead and figured out how to make the clothes in different colors too. They just used some color extracted from a plant and apply it on the clothes. The Chinese discovered the concept of dyeing much before most of the world. Cloth dyes were one of the main things that they traded and this made clothes so colourful, which were usually so bland and boring, right? In the 13th century, there was a boom in the dyeing industry and suddenly there was colour everywhere. And by the time, people had enough knowledge of materials, fabrics, colours and they started experimenting and making art. Fashion was born. 
people started coming up with all sorts of designs for clothes. Fashion started picking up all over the world. People started experimenting and wearing more and more elaborate and different types of clothes. After the 20th century, you had all the jeans and the t-shirts and all of that making a big appearance. If you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these, hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy learning this way, download Byju's, the all new and personalized learning app.